Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Last time we got the uh, Holy Root, so let's go return it to uh, Halem. Despite the danger, you persevered. You brought back the Holy Root. Thank you. On behalf of the entire village, thank you so much. I got a chance to think about a lot of things, and besides, I can't just ignore those in trouble. Please use the route to purify the water supply. Yes, with this, Halen will be saved. All the hard work we've put into developing this place won't be for naught. Yeah! This will restore life to the water, as well as the village. Remember, there's nothing more beautiful than life. Raquel. You once said I was detached, but I wonder whether that's true. I wanted to see for myself the power of the Holy Root. I almost couldn't hand it over as waves of greed and desire washed over me. Standing before me was a child, with a future that stretched far ahead of him, and yet I still hesitated, thinking of myself instead. Despite knowing there was no salvation possible, the ugly need for self-preservation arose within me. Go ahead and laugh if you want. I can't ever grow up. Who would laugh at that? I wouldn't. Actually, I'm relieved. Relieved? Yeah. To learn that you're a real human being with weaknesses, just like the rest of us. Learning that I'm weak makes you feel relieved? Well, if you were perfect, you wouldn't need my support, right? I want to support you. Or no. I'm so scared. I feel as though I'm drowning in fear. How long can this life hold on to its warmth? How long can this body hold on to its strength? I'll be with you. I'll always support you. If your legs lose their strength, I'll carry you. If your eyes lose their light, I'll describe the world to you. I'll always be with you. So when I'm with you, please stop trembling. I want to be with you. To always be with you. That's the purpose I found for my journey. Or no, you're so warm. I see. I understand now. People are warm so that they can help warm others. Since you're with me, I won't tremble anymore. This is the workshop where we make the tools that we need. Please, use it as you like. It's the least we can do to thank you for saving Helim. Okay, thank you. Are you leaving, Jude? Mom said that the divine weapon must be stopped, so I want to carry out her wish. I see, but Jude... I know. When it's all over, I plan to come back to Halim. I need to build memorials for Mom and the others from Ciel, for a lot of people. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Yeah. I've heard that the divine weapon is on Illsville Prison Island. I want you to be careful. That place is known for being unapproachable and inescapable. I know I can't go to a dangerous place like that alone, but... I've never experienced war, but that doesn't mean I can pretend to not see the war that still continues. Mom meant to stop the Divine Weapon in order to protect the future of our world. I want to carry out her wish. So I'd like you all to... No. It's too dangerous. It's beyond insane. So, we're only going to do it this once, you hear? Protecting the future of future of Filgaia is a bit much for us anyway, not to mention out of character. Okay, well, let's head on into this place. Oh, it's a workshop. Huh. So, what you can do here is you can combine some items that you already have. So you can synthesize items, weapons, armors, badges. Um, ooh, wow. But everything here is ridiculously expensive, but it's also, like, insanely, like, great. I mean, like, there's some really, really good stuff here. So, uh, the best weapons and armor in the game can be had here. You just gotta pay, you know, out the wazoo for them. So, uh, I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I'll mess with it later. Uh, ooh, can I make a Sheriff Star? Can I really? 
Yeah, no. See, you need to have all these badges in order to make that Sheriff Star. So, you have to go through and, you know, do all that. And I'll do all that stuff off screen. Uh, if I do do it, I will, um, I'll let you know. I'll talk about it or write it in the video description or something along those lines. But, uh, now that we have restored Halem to its, you know, former glory and helped everybody out here, uh, it's time to go exploring. It's time to see, uh, what it, or if any new areas have opened up for us. Uh, hopefully so, or else we're just kind of stuck here. It's here in the, the, the uh, the Dragon Valley mine. And there must be somewhere we can go to. <laughs> huh. Wonder what that's all about. So, how do we get to Ilsvale? It's known as a prison island, so I'd imagine our destination is somewhere out in the sea. Let's head for Port Rosalia. We can try to find a sea route from there. I can't tell whether you're dependable or not. Boys are so mysterious. <laughs> anyway, I don't think there's any need to worry. Jude seems to be back to normal. Uh, that's a good thing, right? Oh wow, so we do have a far ways to go if that's Ilsvale. Okay, but we do need to head back to Port Rosalia, so we're just going to head up this path right here. So let's go on in here. See what we can got. Blue Amity Beach. Like the Amity of the Horror? No, that was the last place that we were at in that haunted house, hotel, or whatever it was. Haunted Mansion, I think I called it, from, uh, from Disney World. Eh, why not? Okay, this will actually, to me, this reminds me a lot of uh, Final Fantasy X. Just like the whole look, the tropics, kind of like Spira, I guess you would say, you know. So anyway, uh, the the path splits off here, and we want to go up the right-hand path first to get some treasure. Okay, who do we have here? Let's check it out. Urchin Bug, uh, weak to wind, and smash hit. These guys are weak to fire. And these guys are weak to water and wind. Oh, wow. So we got a lot going on. But they are flying enemies. Oh, we're all on the same lay point. That kind of sucks. But anyway, he's a flying enemy, so I'm going to shoot him. Uh, it'd be rude if I didn't return the favor. Uh, right back at oh, we're, we're really gaining a ton uh, of uh, okay. FP. Oh, wow. We're, like, totally done. Okay, what does all this do? Ooh. Oh, really? That's... Is it all hexes? Let's try it! Hey! I'm ready! Now we'll just wrap things up! Let this be a warning! Awesome! Oh, that was sweet! <laughs> oh, man! That was freaking awesome. Yeah, lowered the reflex by a hundred, and it like just fucking destroyed them. Like they don't stand a chance. And then just have Raquel beat the crap out of them. Perfect. My friends support me. I won't fall easily. Wow. Ooh, lots of experience too. Nice. I'm gonna have to do some leveling up in this area because. The leveling up that I tried to do last time in Dragon Valley Mine, it wasn't a really good place to level up, I've gotta say. The enemies kept on turning you to stone, and it just wasn't conducive to leveling up at all. And this is a three-part area, kind of like the Dragon Valley Mine, but they I didn't run into any grow apples at all. I ran into a Melcom and a Melcom Lich, which is nice, you know, it gives me lots of gold. That's always nice to have. But, um... I'd really rather have the experience, to be quite honest with you. So, uh, hopefully, Grow Apples will, uh, will be encountered here, or will show up here, I should say. But, uh, I'm not gonna put a Grow Apples. Ooh! Who are you? We've already dealt with these hard enemies, but they're not doing anything. That was kind of nice, actually. Sea Bishops. 
Okay, uh, nothing really going on there, just, uh, they have water damage, but you know what I could do? I could Phantom Line. Yeah, why not? Oh! No, I didn't want to Phantom Line that way, I wanted to Phantom Line the other way! To go all the way through. Man, I gotta pay more attention to what the hell I'm doing. Um... Yeah, hit on when I hit. I'll just... Yeah, I'll just attack you. Why not? This sucks. I didn't get the FP that I normally start with because Yuli didn't start with me. Ugh. That's no good. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I can intrude now! Sweet. Okay, bring her over here. And... Let's go ahead and kill these two guys. Nice. And then kill the this guy. Perfect. Like okay, took time. care of them. Cool and smart. That's my way. Okay. Yeah, we'll just blast you. Sharp as a razor. Yeah! Raquel can hit, can can kill those guys in one hit because her attack is hard attribute, Let's meaning that um she Take can pierce that. all sorts of defenses or hard defenses. Ooh, that material isn't all that great. Eh, but she has nothing else to do, so might as well. I'm the one! Yeah, you're the one! You're the crappiest party member that I have! You definitely are the one crappy member, I've gotta say. I'll make you feel my pain. So just, uh... Yeah. Just keep on keeping on until we finally get this guy. He has a shit ton of HP, I've gotta say. But now I can't reach him because I'm shut out. That sucks. Um... Ooh, that really sucks. Okay, whatever, just stay there. And then we'll have Raquel take care I'll of it. Take you down. My friends support me. I didn't Don't want to give Raquel the experience the bonus because her level is already higher than everybody else's. Uh, because she's just so amazing and she can intrude the crap out of everybody. I want to give the experience bonuses to other people, like to Yuli or Arno. But unfortunately, it always goes to Raquel. Although there are monsters, there's no sign of Brigannek either chasing us or lying in wait for us. It's quiet. But this could be the eye of the storm. The threat is already closing in around us at Illsvale. Okay. Well, uh, let's look around over here. Ooh, there's two duplicator chests over here. I'll have to be sure to grab those. But then to the right of the duplicator chests, there is a break point. So, uh, yeah, I'll get the chests first, then I'll deal with the break point. And, uh, save and all that. I'll do my best. Ooh, it's a Melcom! Oh, but it's just Yuli! Seriously, that sucks. Um, oh, and he, I think that he absorbs everything, if I recall correctly. Yeah, he's resistant to everything, so all I can do is just have her... Um, oh, you know what? Well... Uh, I can... I can... Okay, I can turn shift to make it our nose turn. And he's on that hex, so then I can have him blast, and that would probably deal more damage than her regular physical attacks. Or physical attack, so we'll try it. Eh. It's not as good as if it was Raquel's turn on detonation mode, but hey, 3000 uh, Gela can't sneeze at it. Can't turn it down. Okay, let's see what we got here. 21 duplicators, good god. Ooh, punching glove. And a comet mark. That punching glove's really good. I gave it to Jude because it allows his attack command to occasionally become finest arts, which is really, really nice, which is like the most powerful attack in the game. And the item scope increases the opportunity of chests falling, so I went ahead and I gave that to, um, to, uh, Raquel. So, hopefully I can get some nice drops. Um, these guys are in detonation mode. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'll just shoot them. Oh, that's good. Oh god, if I die... Oh, hell. Okay, um, yeah, Raquel, you are going to intrude no rest my relentless blade. and just 
beat the living shit out of every single one of these guys. So we're gonna start down here and just work our way across. There we go. Move your way over here. Go. Nice. Uh, let's move you over here. Uh oh, you didn't kill it! Well, we can intrude again. That's nice. This should be interesting. Go ahead and kill it now. And uh we'll do another Where to go? move and attack there. Bam! Yeah, that is the power of Raquel. She's ridiculous. Okay, uh, and blast what? you. Um I would have her material, but she's not in the lay points off. Her revive. Okay, Jude's back in action. Jude gets to go again, I'll have him hit them. Arno, take the glory, kill him. It takes more than muscle to win a fight. Really, Arno? You suck. Okay, um <laughs> heal them up. Good deal, good deal. Okay, now you kill him! My god! But he'll kill him in like one hit. It takes you for everybody else like 20 hits. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's intrude. And intrude again. And then just. Bam! She might not even kill him with these three hits. Seriously? Oh, thank place. God. My friends support me. I won't fall easily. Yeah, look at this. She gets a 2.4 multiplier, getting 2,000 experience points, whereas Yuli only gets 800. That is why she is so ridiculous. I mean, normally battles don't go like that, but, like, you will see. That is why. She she's just ridiculous. She's just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now we want to head over here. There is a, uh... A salesperson who probably doesn't sell anything worth of note, but I'll talk to him anyway, why not? Julian, okay. Yeah, like I said, doesn't sell anything of note. <laughs> so let's just move on. Can I go around this way? Perfect. No, I can't. That sucks. Ugh. What if, or what if it says anything? Accelerator. Not accelerator. Huh. Oh, I guess for in the war, it was, like, guarding the beach or something. Kind of, kind of like the beaches of Normandy. They had, like, machine gun turrets in it. Well, the Germans did as the English and Americans went to attack. What is it, Yuli? It looks like it might be getting a little cloudy. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe so. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of odd. Okay, again, we have... At the fork, you just want to head over to the left-hand side, right here. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I was just talking about... Ooh, there's a fort there. Yeah, this was like Normandy when the Germans fortified the, um, the French beaches. Huh. Okay, so just... Okay, what do we have here? Let's see. A goat doll. If... If, uh, if you get killed and you have the goat doll equipped, the goat doll will sacrifice itself. Take care. Yeah, that was a Melcom, and it ran away. That's the, um, that's the unfortunate thing about Melcoms and Grow Apples. It's pretty much you get a hit or they get to run. You get a 50-50 shot of, of, uh, of what's going to happen. Uh, as I was saying with the goat dolls, if you get killed in battle, the goat doll will sacrifice itself, and you will revive. So he'll, like, take the place of the death. <laughs> Almost through! Uh, just climb up these stairs, and... Man, the random encounter rate in here is insane! I just double-checked to make sure that I don't have a bad open equipped yet, and because this encounter rate, like, it's off the charts. That'll be good for leveling up, though. Well, that'd be kind of nice, actually. Okay, awesome! So we can make it back to Port Rosalia, and we'll do that next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 4. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day!